Brazil, football's great entertainers, La Seleção. No team is more exciting and more terrifying. With a rich and illustrious history, Brazil boasts a long line of superstars. But who are their 10 greatest Brazilian players of all time? The Brazilian national team have been one of the most dominant squads on the international stage for as long as anyone can remember. Football played the right way, with a smile on your face and a flair in your heart. Samba! With such a long line of high performers, both at international and domestic level, choosing Brazil's 10 greatest players was no easy task. But we went ahead and did it anyway. We're nice like that. At number 10, we have a player who could easily continue to climb this ranking in the coming years. Neymar. Since making his debut in 2010, Neymar has gone on to score 69 goals in 113 appearances. And at only 29 years old, Brazil's latest superstar has plenty of time to chase scoring records. Already the second highest goal scorer in Brazil's history, Neymar will have his sights set on conquering Pele's scoring record before he hangs up his boots. At Barcelona, Neymar was part of the fearsome MSN partnership before he joined PSG for a whopping 222 million euros. Neymar's sleeky dribbling and deep bag of tricks have made him a household name worldwide. It's like watching a magic show, except this magic is real. Real expensive? You might be asking yourself how Neymar is only 10th on this list. Now, that's a fair question, but with strength and depth of Brazil's legendary players, you will quickly see why. Moving on, at number 9 we have Roberto Carlos the only player who could ever rival David Beckham at set pieces. And they were teammates at Real Madrid. I bet there wasn't a round ball in sight because they could bend it like Beckham. Get it? Yeah, okay, never mind. Anyway, Roberto Carlos was the best wingback in the world during his prime. Darting runs up the left wing were his trademark. And he wasn't afraid to mix in some nasty tackles when the time called for it either. Carlos was everything you would expect from a Brazilian defender. Technically sound athletically gifted, and he had a certain fondness of the unexpected. Retiring at the age of 41 in 2015, Roberto Carlos ended his career with 112 international caps for Brazil, scoring 11 goals. Coming in at number 8, we have Garincha. For the younger crowd, it's likely you never saw Garincha play. And oh boy, did you miss out. The Messi before Messi. Except, well, Brazilian. Garincha's insane bursts of pace and ability to have the ball almost glued to his feet made him a fan favorite. In fact, many consider Garincha to be the best dribbler in the world. Hey, my baby has a bib that says the same thing. What's going on here? Garincha's skill and performances even led some fans in Brazil to consider him a better player than Pele. Whoa, I'm not sure about that. I mean, he was freakishly good, but Pele good? Unlike many others on this list, Garincha only appeared in 50 games for the Brazil national team and scored 12 goals. But that didn't stop the speedy trickster from making this list. We will leave it up to you to decide if he should be higher or lower. Lucky number 7, we have Rivaldo. 553 domestic games spanning over 6 countries with a further 72 international appearances. Rivaldo was a picturesque professional, a player before his time. Rivaldo could play on the wing, in the middle, or as a second striker. Considered one of the best players of all time, Rivaldo lives up to the hype. His ghosting runs into the box, and pinpoint crosses often left opposing defenders scratching their head. But maybe they were just taunting Rivaldo for having no hair. Uh, that's not very nice. Either way, Brazil's former shadow striker deserves his place on this list due to his immense success at both club and international level. Which leads us to number 6 in our list. Here we have Cafu. Roberto Carlos on the left and Cafu on the right. Crosses would fly into the box from all angles. And since their retirements, Brazil has struggled to find another wing-back pairing with the same level of success. Cafu spent most of his domestic career in Italy during Serie A's prime, defending the likes of Alessandro Di Piero, Andriy Shevchenko, and Gabriel Batistuta. He had nowhere to hide during his prime. He was constantly tested by the world's best players, and Cafu always showed up in the big games. It's that reliability, never say die attitude that led to Cafu earning the most caps in Brazilian football history with a ridiculous 142 games for Esquadrão de Ouro. Ziku takes fifth place in our rankings. We're halfway through now. Are you already guessing who is next? 
Stop being impatient. I promise we will get there. According to specialized websites, Ziku scored 101 goals from direct free kicks, the most in history. And while he was known as the White Pele in Brazil, we should be calling him the Brazilian Beckham. Or maybe it's Beckham who should be called the English Ziku. This is getting confusing. Ah, both players are retired now, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Anyway, Ziku was an incredible goal scorer, ending his Brazilian career with 48 goals and 72 appearances as a midfielder. How can Ziku have been so good but still not make the top three on this list? Well, at number four, we have one of the most recognizable players in history, Ronaldinho, the star who put the Samba back into football. Flicks, tricks, and free kicks. That was Ronaldo's calling card, a disco dancer on a football pitch. He brought the street football style to the highest level of the professional ranks and became one of the greatest in the world as a result. While we will all remember Ronaldinho for his party-loving, late-night dancing, sports car driving lifestyle, we should also remember the Champions League medals and World Cup victories. The man with the $10 smile but million-dollar feet. It's just a shame he didn't end his Brazil career with more than 33 goals. Or that he keeps getting arrested, because that's bad too. Right, we've made it. Our top three Brazilian footballers of all time. In third place, Romario. Well, I don't know about you, but it feels like this guy was playing forever. Every year, he would pop up on FIFA or Football Manager. The immortal goal scorer. Romario is widely considered one of the best finishers in history. His effortless style and darting runs from deep are stuff of legend. I mean, you don't score over a thousand goals for nothing. But when you play until you're 100 years old, it's easy to score so many. Okay, maybe he wasn't that old when he retired, but it sure did feel like it. In second place, we have the man that created the worst haircut trend in history. Um, I even had the same hairstyle for a while. Didn't everyone? That's right, it's the real Ronaldo. Scoring 62 international goals in 98 games in the fastest way to legendary status. But Ronaldo was more than an international assassin. From AC Milan to Real Madrid, defenses around Europe cowered whenever they saw Ronaldo's name on the team sheet. His powerful finishes, ambidextrous footwork, and heading ability struck terror into the hearts of fans around the world. Well, you know, except Brazilian fans, their hearts were laughing all the way to the bank. Ronaldo's exploits saw him wildly recognized as the best striker in the world for over a decade, before he began to struggle with his fitness and weight. But we will always have those memories of the real Ronaldo. And finally, in first place, you guessed it, Pele. I mean, it couldn't be anyone else. Pele is arguably the greatest of all time, not just for Brazilians, but for football as a whole. FIFA agrees with this ranking, as they too have billed Pele as the greatest of all time. With 77 goals in 92 games, Pele is Brazil's leading goal scorer, although Neymar will have the record clearly in his sights. Rumor has it that Pele is also the leading goal scorer in domestic football too, but those rumors aren't verified as goals weren't as consistently tracked back then. Those darn Flintstones and their rock carvings? Get it, because Pele's old? <laughs> yeah, that was me. While we're on the topic of amazing players, we here at Oh My Goal also explored the greatest players of all time. Guys, please be tolerant because this video is a bit old, but have a look at it. But we want to know if you agree. Click here to discover the video.